What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. And at the time of this recording, this is going to be uploaded on a Thursday. And by the time it's uploaded, it will now be my birthday. I just wanted to do a birthday edition of a discussion on my channel regarding Scream 7 and a theory that... I've had in my mind, I didn't work on this alone, shout out to my friend, you know who you are, who actually is the originator of this theory, so this theory isn't even mine, it's my friend's, and again, shout out to you, you know who you are. The theory is regarding the chances of Sam Carpenter having met Mrs. Loomis, and of course she just doesn't remember because of the fact that she was so young, she was an infant basically, freshly born, and this is something that Christina Carpenter, her mother, could share in the events of Scream 7, in my mind, with one of many revelations, you know, that I've talked about she could share, such as the fact that she knew good and well what Billy and Stu were up to in 96. She knew good and well what they were up to when they were trying to kill Maureen Prescott. She knew about them trying to frame Cotton Weary. She even had her own intentions of leaving Tara's dad after Billy was done with the Woodsboro murders, going off with him, raising Sam, and just putting all that behind them. That was her intention. The only reason she stuck around with Tara's dad was because Billy's plans didn't go as he intended. And of course, he ended up dying. Uh, so that's why she stuck around with Tara's dad. So she would be like the silent mastermind that's revealed in my in my type of Scream 7 that I have envisioned in my head. And the killer primarily would be somebody who is sick of the constant exploitation. They want all of this to end. They despise the people who have done nothing but profit off of this. They want to send a message to Hollywood. But... An opportunity hadn't presented itself until news came out that there was a new stab project in the works. So that's your parallel to Scream 3. Now, there won't be an actual stab project filming. It's just in the works. And they're going to target all of our survivors to tie up any and close all loose ends. So that way... The thought about reviving it is put into question, and you can actually bring that up in the movie, say that the thought about the revival is being brought into question, and this new murder spree in this killer's mind would be the thing that will cause them to cancel it. That's just how I see it. But getting anyway, back to Sam and Mrs. Loomis. Mrs. Loomis could have potentially met Sam Carpenter. How could she have done that? Well, she could have been presented to Sam if Christina decided to reach out to her somewhere in between the events of Scream and Scream 2. After what happened in Scream, we know there's like a two-year gap. Sam, Sam obviously could have been born at that point. And at some point or another, at this point, of course, Tara's dad doesn't know that she has done this. Christina goes out of her way to introduce Sam to Mrs. Loomis. For whatever reason, she decided to track down Mrs. Loomis. Maybe this is because she's trying to let go of Billy in some type of therapeutic way and she thought the best way would be to introduce billy's daughter to her grandmother and just come and talk about billy with her and share her thoughts on her son and again introduce her grandchild to her now when she introduces sam to mrs loomis this could be the thing that could also end up being another bombshell in scream 7 christina could tell us that mrs loomis possibly gave her an indication of what she was going to do in Scream 2 because Mrs. Loomis and, and Christina's conversation could have ended like this. Christina possibly heard from Mrs. Loomis that she was going to take care of their problems. Now, she didn't know what Mrs. Loomis meant, but of course, after the events at Windsor College and after finding out who was behind the events at Windsor College, she knew exactly what Mrs. Loomis meant because she sees now that Sam, that Sam's grandmother went just as crazy as her boyfriend her other her other lover that she really wanted to spend the rest of her life with just as crazy as her son just like sydney said this would also add more weight behind the commentary or the dialogue that debbie has or nancy i guess they named her officially has towards sydney about you don't know what it is to be a mother she, not only was she talking about herself she was talking about christina and how she's without a father because of the fact that Sam's father, Billy, her son, was killed at the hands of Sidney Prescott. Introducing Sam to Mrs. Loomis, that could easily be factored in to saying that was like the final nail that pushed her over the edge. The fact that her grandchild doesn't have a father in her life because Sidney Prescott killed her son and none of this would have happened in her mind if Nancy's husband, Mr. Loomis, Hank, hadn't hooked up with Sydney's mother, Maureen Prescott, and so all of this is Sydney's fault. Meeting Sam, that could have been another trigger 
for Mrs. Loomis. That is another bombshell that Christina could could have realized after the events of Scream 2 when she when she finally contextualizes what she meant when she told Christina, I'm going to take care of our problems. Found out very well what she meant when she was all over the headlines about going on a murderous rampage like her son. That could be the other bombshell Christina reveals in Scream 7 when we find out that she knew all along what was happening on so many different occasions. Indirectly also knowing about the events of Scream 2. So again, Christina is the silent mastermind that I wouldn't mind seeing revealed in the events of Scream 7. She's not too hands-on. She's someone who was just in the know. And had she had spoken up, had she had been a little bit more smart, had she made a lot more smarter dating decisions, a lot of this wouldn't have happened. And that's where the killer's perspective will be. That will also be why Christina is going to be the one they primarily want to frame for all of this as the vengeful lover of Billy Loomis who finally snapped after her family that she worked so hard to raise up in a in a life of lies was crushed or pulled out from under her she's finally snapped she blames her daughter she blames her other daughter she blames Sydney Prescott everybody who had anything to do with the demise of Billy Loomis her or Billy's deranged lover has snapped and now wants revenge that will be the killer's goal to frame Christina as the deranged lover of Billy who finally snapped but you guys can let me know what you think about this theory down in the comment section below again chances are that won't happen but I think it could be a very cool narrative plot to play with to this, to tell us that Christina introduced Sam to Mrs. Loomis when she was a baby she tracked Debbie or Nancy down introduced her grandchild to her again this could have been her way of coping with the loss of billy but something about that encounter could have been another thing that helped also establish within christina's mind okay i gotta keep sam a secret because after nancy went on her little murder spree that only fueled her intention and her energy to try to conceal this secret about billy and who is the actual father of sam that much even more so because she introduced sam to her grandmother and her grandmother ended up going on a murderous rampage but again, let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.